What is up everybody and today I'm installing LSPD first response 0.4.9 for GTA 5 and uh, it just got updated, you know, um, because of the new release version of the game. I can't remember when GTA 5 is done updating because then most likely the game will keep stay optimized. But until then, we know the drill with this. Um, this is my first time doing it on YouTube. Um, I've done this thousands of times. I do wish we got an Enchanted version. You know, the graphics for Enchanted are crazy, bro. It's good. It's really good. Alright. So, when you ever want updates on a mod, click uh, right here to get new version updates. So, download this file. Agree and download. And I would do the setup. Download. Go on the uh, file. Since say is this is this safe? Press run anyway. Press yes. It's gonna unpack the data. And then select your language. Mine is English, so press OK. Press next. Agree. And it's going to so when you update this. You might want to delete it. Um, I usually don't update LSPDFR ever on a build. The reason why it breaks it. I break it somehow every time. So I usually don't do it only if it doesn't boot at all anymore. That's usually, but I usually don't. Press next. And then you have to find your GTA 5 installation. So you click browse. And then install. And then when you go in here, you're going to start seeing all the folders pop up. Press finish, press next, show license, press accept, and now it can say re-disabled and all that, show settings, um, I do this for myself, uh, F4, plugins, load, load all plugins on startup. That's what I select. Personally, I do it. Advanced settings. Um, that's it. Game settings. This is like um, uh, ignore profiles, use minimum settings. Um, force full screen. Uh, stuff like that. Um, yeah, that's it. Um, I don't really touch anything besides I use load all plugins on startup, save and close. Okay. And now LSPDF, LSPDFR is installed. So to boot it up, you click on 